let me give the you know concept of top down distribution and uh, why what is the business need you know what are the features how it works how, what is the functionality and all that i will show you today okay okay so basically the concept wise it's very simple uh, you know top down distribution is a business sap copa business process to allocate costs from generic segments such as company code or product groups or customer groups to uh, specific segments such as you know individual products or customers right this you know this process of allocation is called distribution right you know you are distributing the values so yeah, you mentioned to me the very first uh, like allocation in a, a copa there is no distribution it is all assessment you mentioned is it the same thing yeah so but assessment uh, you are doing from cost centers right yeah but this is you know something like you know you are allocating from higher level generic segments to the lower level specific segments okay yeah perfect and this is yeah. uh, not uh, distribution of uh, revenues but distribution of cost alone or both it can be anything it can be distribution of revenue or cost okay yes or yes. it can be for revenue yeah yeah yes, okay. yes and what is the business need right in some yeah. cases in some cases it is not possible to post data at detail segment level at the time of business process execution yeah. the good example is uh, if you have a freight cost which is incurred it cannot be posted to a specific customer yeah. or a spe or a specific material yeah uh, if if you are using a common carrier freight carrier who is delivering the multiple products to the various customers yeah. right so for example you have one truck and you are spending let's say you know 5000 dollars to deliver right mm -hmm. but the truck the truck has got 10 different kinds of products yeah. and uh, and you are going to you know 10 different customers and delivering them yeah. how can you how can you you know say that okay this is my freight cost and you know this much you allocate to this customer and you know this much you allocate to this product it's not possible right yeah right so in that case what you do is that when you are booking your freight cost you will book it you know say company code level or in you know, a product group level right and then later on you will allocate it or later on you will do uh, to the top down distribution so and you know top down distribution features right you know top down distribution is a periodic process uh, which is available only in costing based copa right and it uses uh, when you are distributing the same like you know when you are planning that reference uh, you are taking that actuals or you know plans the same way here when you are distributing it uses the flexible references you know which means it can based on the previous year plans or based on the previous year actual you know it will distribute okay mm -hmm. and this functionality is available for actuals as well as for planning okay okay so yeah so that is the concept right i think you understood very clearly yeah the concept right so now let us look at uh, what happens so now for example you are entering the freight cost as a freight mm -hmm. process right so normally you, what you will do is you will say company code and you know freight cost right mm -hmm. so nothing else will enter you know this, this at this level you'll enter and then say you will say okay my copa um, you know copa values will be there when you say company code 3000 let's say as an example and freight cost is 3000 so how mm -hmm. what is the values which are there in copa that's it you know company code and freight cost right Mm -hmm. and copa copa report for freight cost before distribution available at company code level only right which means yeah. if i go and look at the copa you know it will say that okay what is what is my you know freight cost it will tell you 3000 and by company code if i say can i know this 3000 by customer it will say no it is impossible because you have not captured it right yeah and then let's let's look at the top down distribution what happens 
so now let's say reference data is like this right so you had you are, you you had like revenue which is nothing to do with the freight cost you know it's another another factor revenue right mm -hmm. you had a revenue which is for customer 1 yeah. 2 3 4 with the material 1 2 material 1 material 2 customer 1 material 1 customer 2 material 1 customer 3 material 2 customer 4 material 2 we had revenue like 1000 2000 3000 1500 total 7500 right so this this reference data may be a record type any record type or plan or actual or statistical right so yeah. that's what exactly means a flexible reference you know you, you can take any of these yeah as a reference data okay mm -hmm. and then you you start distributing it so when you mm -hmm. distribute what will happen is that you will have now how many characteristics you will have you will have company code you will have customer mm -hmm. then you will have material obviously you are looking at the you are distributing the freight cost right mm -hmm. so now once you are done with copa a distribution what will happen now the values will be like this in copa okay. company code 3000 and customer 1 material 1 you know you are distributing this 3000 based on this reference factor the values will be like this okay right and then when you look at you know copa report for the paid cost after distribution available at customer material and company code more detailed segment Okay. okay so this is what exactly you know you mean by top down distribution okay uh, do you have any questions here it's a good feature but uh, practically this freight cost they will come up and say it is not uh, based on revenue it may be in a different uh, uh, functionality like uh, weight or volume or different things oh yeah yeah so that's what that's what i said right it is a flexible reference you know i have taken revenue as a reference it can be anything okay it's just example is revenue right so just take out revenue yeah, yeah. put anything yeah, like put that. some statistical values also there or whatever you want yeah, exactly statistical or actuals or plan or any record type you know or, or any other yeah. uh characteristic field also or, or another value field also if you have yes yes that's correct yeah okay right so this yeah. is what the top down distribution is right so you know it, it's nice functionality you know it's very I mean easy uh, functionality to understand right and you are pretty much what you are doing you are just taking the values and distributing that way right yeah this is this distribution anyway like any other distribution or allocation you do after all your postings are over yeah yes yes and because the monthly activity yes yeah. monthly activity you will do this okay yeah so you know process wise the entire process wise right mm -hmm. and you know to do this example what you need to do is that you know first you post rate cost at company code level mm -hmm. right and then you have to have a reference data for distribution yeah and then you know run copa report for paid cost run copa report for reference data right and you know then you create a top down distribution mm -hmm. right and then you know execute this you know top down distribution and then you know run this particular uh, okay in this. so this is yeah, a you know step. the full scenario exactly so this is a process steps right so yeah. and, you know then once you you know do this process step then automatically you will understand exactly how it is working right yeah yeah so uh, shall we do that now probably we can do it tomorrow uh, i think it will not take much time 10 minutes let's complete it then we are done with the top down distribution mm -hmm. Because today I'm already too uh, late. And this feature is will be very useful for the business, uh, particularly for the exact uh, scenario of the freight cost. Yes, yes, yeah, that's, that's exactly what happened, right? Mm -hmm.